I'm gonna use this old bullet to open this beer. Oh, hey. Welcome to Bruin Review. When I'm on the yes. internet, I'm watching Bruin Review. Ooh. Mm. Damn. I am Ooh. very much into this. Oh my Holy god. Smokes. This is New Belgium's Wild Ride. This is a 30th anniversary Amber IPA. And this Amber IPA, Corey Wagner, from Fort Will Collins, Colorado, and also Asheville, North Carolina, is 7% alcohol. Dude, this is one wow. of my new favorite beers I've decided in this that one moment, that quick taste test that tells yeah, you Yeah, this is the really good. Mm -hmm. So now you legally have to buy it or you die. Dude, yeah, anybody ever told you you should be a comedian? I'm drinking this off-camera beer because dealing with Corey right now will provide me more joy if I'm a little more sauce. That's a fact. So I'm having a little side beer and then I'm going to get back to that wild yeah. ride. It's normal when it, you need beer to deal with me. It's sad when my parents need alcohol to deal with me. And they needed alcohol to have you. Yeah, doctor told me they didn't need it, but they chose it. You're supposed to wash out your glass, but you know, this is a dirty channel and I'm a dirty dude. That's right. There we go. Dirty boy. Now that's what the beer looks like if you pour it into a glass. Cool, now you know stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a tax write-off now because you learned something. Ha ha. That's not a write-off. All right, what are, we, what are we eating today with our faces? Today we've got the Hot Pockets Big and Bold, which means it's 50. 50% larger. <laughs> this is the sriracha steak with jalapeno, reduced fat, cheddar cheese, and creamy cheese sauce in a sriracha blasted crust. Mm -hmm. God, that's so intense, bro. So intense, dude. And if you're looking to get yoked, it's got 15 grams of protein per sandwich. Thank God. So, Electric Ely, get on it, dude. Yeah, I don't even know what you're doing. He eating loves these. Peanut butter and stuff. <laughs> it doesn't eat peanut butter. Too high in fat. Is this something you'd put in your mouth? Let us know. All right, cool. Still hungry? Let's get sriracha blasted, dude. Let's do it. Hot Pockets, we love you. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, I think this is pretty good. First of all, that cheese is so cheap, processed and good. Air fried on the outside, and then we just kind of like punched it with a microwave at the end. I think it's cooked perfectly. I know that's a dumb thing to say, yeah. but get over it. It was too much work and completely negates the whole idea of frozen food yep. options. Yep. I microwaved it, mm -hmm. then air fried it. <laughs> Then we cut them in half for the thumbnail. Yeah. Then Mike waved it again. Mm -hmm. So I might as well just. Uh, <coughs> hey, is that a gerbil? I might as well just got some steak, cheese, yeah. and jalapenos and made my own fajita, I guess, with all the work. Yeah, and it. also it took less time to go to the store and buy these than it did to cook it. Right. Which shouldn't be the case, but here we are. Can I get a little bit of hotter citrus sauce? This hot is, pockets are built for. They're metal they're hot sauce, sauce uh, pouches. I agree. Dude, this is really good. I was nervous. What is this cheese you said? It's just a creamy oh, cheddar, cheddar cheese and creamy cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. I think they knocked it out of the park with the double cheese move. Taco Bell yeah. does that in a lot of options. People need to start doing creamy, the melty nacho cheese, like stadium cheese, and regular. Mm. It's so processed, but mm -hmm. I don't care. I still like it. You should see the ingredients list. It takes up a fourth of the box. Yeah, not bad. I'm pleased with this one. I don't know why I expected it to be more weird. I feel like society, you have to be like, oh, no, I don't like Hot Pockets. Like, no, I'm like too clever. Like, yeah, you do. They're good. Like, they're sadly, they're very good. Right? And I had a Hot Pocket for dinner. But as far as a taste goes, they're really good, man. And if you have an air fryer and you can crisp them, it's a completely different food. Shout out to the air fryer. Good morning, you just bought Hot Pockets. Hope you're drunk or heading home to a trailer. Ooh, man. I forgot how much kick the hotter sixer sauce has. It's just hot. Poured a bit much in there. That hurts, man. I'm like crying. Zamboni. Sriracha blasted crust. <laughs> Ridiculous. Did Mountain Dew's team write the copy on this? Right. Before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down the big and bold. Please like the video. You know, if you got not a single dollar and you want to help the channel, a single like will honestly, I don't know why I made that word a seven syllable word, help. Do you like me? Am I okay? Uh, let, wanna do a shout out? Yeah. Oh, skipping through this part. Phone number shout out, phone number shout out, phone number shout out. 312 847 2322. Corey and Sean got a GD phone number, dude. Check it out. Those are a bunch of numbers in a sequence. If you live in America, you can just literally pop that into your phone and text us, and then it'll go, Are you a real person? You'll go, Yes. And then, boom, you're in our phone book, we're in yours. Anything we want everyone to know, you will be in 
end the no. And no feet pics. Zero. And I'll tell you what, someone sent a feet pic recently. Whoever sent, whoever painted their toes into Oompa Loompas, bro, I'm straight up chapped about it, dude. Don't be sending, you see this? Yeah, I, I that's, I, why'd you, God, awful. Don't be sending no damn feet pic. That's nasty. Fun number shout-out's over. Let's go ahead and rate this thing uh, with our thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, resident drummer, Mr. Eric McCloskey. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked or enjoyed. You think the Sixers should spend their money on the Hot Pockets brand sandwiches. Big and bold sriracha steak. Should you guys buy it? Here you go. Ready? Ho! I think that's damn good. That's a, yes, that's a yes. That's a yes. And they were bigger. I mean, the 50% thing, they really have that. We had the chicken bacon ranch a few months ago, and we liked the bigness, but not the flavor. Mm. These, I like both the bigness and the flavor. You did it good, Hot Pockets. You did good. All the like faux pas-ness of, of Hot Pockets, I think, needs to go away. I think that's mm -hmm. actually a really good frozen food. Yeah, dude. Like, that's just as respectable as buying a frozen pizza. No, but okay. I think yes. Hi, I'd like to be your brand ambassador. Let us know if you guys have had these before. Uh, they've continued to make crazy flavors and we will continue to power through them. Uh, we'll see you Monday. <laughs> I didn't even know how you did that. I was like, did you put that bottle cap in that bottle? You just got the strength. <laughs> see you Monday for a brand new video. Uh, five new videos next week, as always. We've been doing it since 2017, dude. Five videos a week. There you go. Yeah. See you Monday. Sure! This amber was great. I'll have a drink. This was damn good. I like the logo too. I wanna to take you for a wild ride. Mm hmm. I'm not a comedian, so that's not that funny. I've never eaten a hot pocket and then afterwards been, I'm glad I ate that. I think that shirt's a little short for you, bud. Why? Because <laughs> you can see my midriff when I raise my arms? <laughs>